Um, basically, yes, uh, smart city uh, recent years have become very hot topics uh, at a global basis. So uh, people always want to utilize those combination of technologies to actually improve the livelihood of the citizens, improve the social governance capabilities by building the smart city constructions. We, Huawei, uh, also provide uh, those fundamental ICT infrastructures uh, for the entry end of the smart city constructions. But we mainly focus on the two specific areas. One is the connectivity. Another one is the platform. For example, one of the major challenge in building a smart city, it's going to be a very hot topic if you ask the city leader what are the most typical challenge you want to build a smart city. Most likely, they're going to tell you okay, to address information silos. Because there's so much data that was scattered from the different location, from the different department, and those data are actually siloed. There's no collaboration between each other. When they build the application, they build the application separately. This easily causes a lot of issues for the government, information silos, repeated investment, and interoperability issues. Well, by building a smart city construction, we can help to address that issue how are we going to do that? Based upon our experience, because we already helped 160 cities across 40 countries by building the smart city construction. We think by building the digital platform, this digital platform is going to host it on the cloud architecture so that we integrate massive amount of technology, IoT, big data, real-time G system, cloud systems, as well as the ICP technology, the different technology together, combination together, to build a centralized digital platform. In the meantime, we're going to have a data sharing exchange technologies to be hosted on top of this centralized digital platform. And a variety of the application, education, healthcare, water metering, electricity consumption, all those information can be showcased, can be hosted on this centralized platform. You get a chance to visit our booth next to this area. You can see the big screen, IOC, has been located over there. That one is not the real demonstration. That one has been on live in one of the major cities in China. It has been hosted somewhere in Shenzhen, okay? one of the major municipal service center in Shenzhen, so that the citizen, the decision maker of the city can actually see exactly what is happening over there so they can help them to make a better decision in case something happening. For example, there's a major event happening right here. We also have a high definition video surveillance camera located somewhere inside these specific locations to monitor what is happening over here. It also has the IoT sensor to trigger alarms. In case there's an incident happening, it's gonna send alarms to the back end of IOC so that the city decision maker can do a better response capability. This is just one of the typical case. Meantime, we think that a lot of the IoT, basically, they don't need to consume large amount of the bandwidth, right? Therefore, we also provide the 3GPP-based technology called a narrow band, uh, narrow band IoT technology by working together with those carrier companies to provide that kind of connectivity solutions.